My name is Karen and I work at the York County Library in South Carolina. And here is my co-host Lovey. Hello there, Lovey. Say hello to everybody. Oh, there he's saying hi to you too. <laughs> so he is excited. We're excited to have you today. He's clapping his hands. And 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 oh yes, what is it? Oh yes. Yes, so he's showing off. We've got um, a scarf time coming up later. So if you can go and grab a scarf, pause the video for a moment. Or some kind of fabric you can wave around um, and have fun with us later on with our our scarf time right Libby okay. <laughs> okay let's put this to the side for a second we'll be right back okay okay so we are ready for our hello song are you guys ready for the hello song can you start clapping with us our hello song is called we clap and sing hello and we're using it with permission from Jayberry all right, you're, you're just going to town. Here we go. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With all our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Yay. <laughs> all right, now we're going to wave. Are you ready, Lovey? Yes. Okay. Oh, he's waving. We wave and say hello. We wave and say hello. With all our friends at story time, we wave and say hello. Okay, yay. And now we're gonna jump. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. We jump and say hello. We jump and say hello. With all our friends at story time, we jump and say hello. Yay! Awesome, guys. <laughs> all lovey. Oh, look at this. All lovey. He's getting sleepy. All right, we'll say goodbye to everybody, okay? Okay, we'll put you down for now. Now we are ready for our letter of the day. Our letter of the day is the letter, is it the letter L? No. Hmm, is it the letter O? No, not that either, right? It's the letter, look at this, the letter K. It's one of my favorite letters, you know why? K is for Karen. That's me. So we've got our uppercase and our lowercase K. So besides Karen, what begins with K? Let's see. If you can think of some things at home, and we're going to start our game. Let's see if you can guess some things too. And how the guessing game works, I'm going to give you some clues sing a little song and give some clues and then I'm going to count to the number three or four and then I'll let you take a guess. All right. All right. Here we go. So what is plastic? What is plastic? Hmm. And makes a sound, makes a sound. Can you guess this item? Can you guess this item? On the count of four, on the count of four. All right, let's count. One, two, three, four. Did you guess? If you guessed a kazoo, you are correct. Kazoo starts with the letter K. Let's try it out. Very nice, isn't that cool? How you play the kazoo. It's pretty cool. So kazoo. Well, let's see, what else do we have? What else? Alright, let's try another one. What is metal? What is metal? And open stores, open stores. Like your house or your car, things like that. Can you guess this item? Can you guess this item? On the count of five on the count of five here we go one two three four five did you guess a key look at this just this little key and you put in the door or the door knob and you turn it and you unlock it so that is k for key Okay, 
Last thing, guys, let's see. See if you can guess. This item's a little bigger, so we'll have to get situated here. <laughs> okay. Oh. Let's try. Let's try something else. Okay. All right. Next thing. So, <laughs> what floats high? What floats high? Upon a string, on a string. Can you guess this item? Can you guess this item? On the count of three, on the count of three. Hold up three fingers. All right, let's count. One, two, three. Did you guess? A kite, look at this. A kite goes way up high in the air. It floats around when it's breezy outside. And you hold on to it with your string from the ground. So that is a kite, K for kite. Okay, let's see. Next up, we have our book. And our book today, my friends, is called Are You a Cow? by Sandra Boyton. And we're reading it with permission from Simon & Schuster. Okay. And look at this guy. He says, hey, I'm a chicken. Yes, it's true. But tell me, tell me, what are you? What are we, friends? Are we cows? No. Say no. What do you think? Are you a dog? No. That's silly. Are you a duck? What does a duck say? Quack, 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 quack. But say, no, I'm not a duck. Are you a frog? No. Uh, are you a lamb? No. Perhaps a pig? No, not that either. Well, look at these guys. You are not a hippo. You are small and they are big. Those are pretty big animals. Oh, who's this guy? Are you a bear that does not frown? Can you give a big smile? See him? He does not frown. <laughs> no, you're not like that, are you? Are you a chicken upside down? No. Uh, are you a penguin? You're not. But wait, you must be you. Now, isn't that great? You are you. <laughs> All right. Okay, next up, we have our scarf time, friends. So go and grab your scarf. And let's get it ready. Here we go. All right, start the waving process. You wave up and down, wave side to side. How about in a circle? In a circle? Let's do a little warm up here. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> okay, we're using this with permission from Jayberry, and it's a little Bo Peep story. So first of all, with little Bo Peep, we've got to hide the scarf behind our back. So let's do that. Hide your scarf and we'll say our rhyme. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. But leave them alone and they will come home wagging those tails behind them. Look at those tails. <laughs> let's do it again. Can you hide your scarf? Hide. There it goes. <laughs> Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. But leave them alone and they will come home, wagging those tails behind them. All oh, those sheep. <laughs> okay, and 
the next one we're also using with permission from Jaybury is Jack in the Box. So first thing we're gonna wad up our scarves. Wad, 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 wad. Make it into a ball. Are you ready? Okay, so this rhyme, at the end, we're gonna throw it up in the air. So this rhyme goes like this. Jack in the box, sitting so still, will you come out? Yes, he will! <laughs> he hops up in the air. Let's do it one more time. Ready to wad, 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 wad. Here we go. Jack in the box, sitting so still, will you come out? Here we go, you ready? Yes, he will! <laughs> he, he flew up in the air there. All right, well, very nice. Let's wave those scarves again. Let's try the other hand too. Oh, nice. Okay, our next activity is called Here We Go. So here we go up, up, up. <laughs> here we go down, down, down. Here we go up and down. And here we go round and around. Yay! I'll do it with the other hand. Yay! <laughs> Very nice, friends. Let's go ahead and put our scarves to the side. All right, my friends. Now it's time for us to say our goodbye song. So if you'll stand up with me and we'll get ready to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Let's clap our hands, touch our toes, and give a spin. And we spin. Oops. Let's reach up and touch the sky, then shrug our shoulders and say bye. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you soon. Have a lovely afternoon. Okay. We are finishing up. I wanted to mention something quick to you guys. So this is a take and make. Um, some information about a take and make that we have available at the Rock Hill Library. And so I thought I'd show you for a minute a little how-to when you get your take and makes. So again, you just pick them up at the Rock Hill Library and it will have some craft supplies in it. Whoa, my crayon wants to run away from me. Um, having to do with the letter K and the letter L. Um, so for the letter K, I thought I'd show you what we do to create our take and make. So you'll, you'll get a letter and you'll get a, little, a couple of little prompt cards. So one will have you cutting out things that begin with the letter K that you may find in like a newspaper or magazine or something. So I found a knight and a king and a koala. Um, and then another one, um, ask your child to draw a kite so you can talk about making a diamond shape and, and just a little activity there. And then K is for key. So you get to um, trace a key or two and just let your child draw, color it in or doodle on it too. So thinking about K for key. But basically, once you fill those in, what you're gonna do is you're going to peel off the contact paper of one of your posters. So you have a sticky surface for your child to, to work on. go and just let them place it together they can put their letter K on there after they finish coloring it in it's probably just after they finish they can add their their artwork and things on as well and some of their their images that they found but yeah, just letting them piece it together, a little collage that can go on the refrigerator um, or in their room at home while you're talking about the letter K. All right. Well, thanks for joining today. I hope you enjoy these. Bye for now.